Hey there, laser makers. Jim here. Uh, today's tutorial uh, is just going to be a real basic one about how to uh, draw, size, uh, and basically, you know, kind of a beginner's 101 tutorial about how how some of the drawing tools work. Um, we're going to start with uh, some of the shape tools. There's some hotkey modifiers that generally will help people out uh, a lot. Um, so I want to go through those just to kind of get people up to speed uh, if you're a beginner uh, or if you're advanced and you maybe you might learn something new here. Uh, so we're going to start with the square tool uh, or the rectangle tool should be more accurate. Um, you know, it's obviously for creating rectangles. Some of the modifiers um, that sometimes people don't realize exist uh, is the shift modifier. So that's if you're dragging a, a rectangle and you hold shift, it will constrain it to a square. Um, so that will force it to always be equal on uh, the vertical and horizontal dimensions. Uh, in addition to that, we also have the, uh, the control modifier. But what that does is it causes it to draw a size from the center. Uh, so you can pick a point and, you know, create a rectangle and it will size it from the center point. Uh, and you can combine those two as well. So if you hold shift and control, it will keep it as a square and it'll constrain it or, and it'll draw it from the center. <clears throat> uh, the same modifiers work for the oval tool. Uh, if you hold shift, it will constrain it to a circle. And if you hold control, uh, it will draw it from the center. And if you combine them, it will uh, constrain it to a circle and draw it from the center. Uh, Lastly, the, uh, <clears throat> the polygon tool, the polygon tool um, works kind of the same way. Um, so you can you know, create a polygon, hold shift to create the, uh, an equal side polygon, and control will draw it from the center. Um, when it comes to the polygon tool, there's some additional things you can do, and that is you can create some additional, uh, you create some polygons of different sizes, right? So you can change uh, in the shapes properties tab uh, of the, you know, in the shape properties window. You can change like how many sides it has. Actually, so if you want to, you know, octagon or, you know, I'm not going to try to guess the names of all the different uh, But yeah, so you can change what, what the shape is. Um, and go from there. Um, now, there's some some additional things I want to kind of show you that it's not intuitively obvious, um, but there's some some specific icons that mean different things. So if you notice when I move around, the mouse cursor changes to different uh, icons. And here's what those um, here's what some of those icons mean. So if you uh, are drawing or starting a shape or, or anything, there's a couple different things that you can use to help you snap to different positions along your shape. Um, so anytime you see this uh, kind of icon that's like a line with a squiggly, you know, like a broken line or a line with a squiggly on it, it's telling you it's going to snap to the line that you're kind of hovering over. So if you're you know, drawing a, a shape here, um, it's going to snap to that line. You know, it's going to start there. Uh, the next, the next one we can find here is if you're in a, you know, in a segment of line, you'll get a kind of a line with a circle on it. What that's telling you is it's going to start at the midpoint of that line, and so this will help you, like if you're trying to divide a shape in half. Um, or you want it to like maybe you want to make 45 degree angles uh, I didn't do that right let's try that again there we go um, yeah so it'll kind of snap to the center points um, the next shape is this uh, kind of a cross with a circle that's telling you it's going to it's going to 
snap to the intersection of two lines. So in this in this uh, case, it's the corner, but we could do it over here, um, or it's going to be the the vertice of two corners. Sorry, the vertice of two lines. So um, whatever that may be, it could be. Yeah, I don't know if we can get one on there because of the other shape being selected. Let's see if we can. Um, the next, the next one that we can do though is going to look like an uh, like a X with a dot on it. That is the intersection between two lines. So uh, this will start here at this corner. We can, you know, we can get that basically anywhere there's an intersection. Um, so anytime you hover over an intersection of two lines. Um, um, we can snap a line there. Um, so that's um, that is a lot of the different uh, kind of icons that you can get. So oh, and the last one that we can get is the uh, center point of a shape, um, which is also uh, looks like the intersection of two lines, right? So the the center point is also considered an, a, like an intersection of two lines. So that will give you a, a cross with a dot or a plus with an X with a dot on the middle of it. And that would be like if you're trying to build a you know square in a circle. You know, maybe we want to snap it. Um, you know, draw it from the center line. And we want to snap it to, you know, we can snap it to the outside edges or snap it to here, you know, so we can do a lot of different things by using the different control modifiers and using the different snapping options. Um, that's all I'm going to kind of cover in this tutorial. I hope it really helps. Um, there's some other things we can do, uh, but that covers kind of how to snap different things together. Um, in a future tutorial, uh, I, I'd like to talk to talk to everyone about uh, how to resize things and accurately and and properly align everything. Um, how to you know resize by specific measurements. So look for that in an upcoming tutorial. Hope all this helps and uh, keep on lasering.